There's, uh, there's, there was a clownfish in my waterfall. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's gone now. Alas. Also, uh, I have some clownfish steak in my inventory. <laughs> Completely <laughs> coincidentally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, oh, we have a uh, a slight problem of oh. a creeper in the oh, uh, crafting not again. area. Oh, right, Now I need to get back to... Life. Back to reality. Back to reality. A guaranteed emergency. The radical MC HP's got melody. See, that's my back to life song. Scooter. Okay, I believe I have rescued all of our stuff. Okay. Well done. The fun thing about having the magnetic pickaxe is that, like, my inventory's full, but every time I mine something, all of the existing blocks that are scattered around the floor just keep kind of <laughs> sliding around towards me. It's like they're stalking me. <laughs> Please, pick me up! Oh no, there's a creeper at the bottom of the waterfall. Oh, actually, this could be good. Is it going to blow a hole through your... <laughs> Is it good for Bitcoin? Um... Did you say Bitcoin? Yes. What? What? It's just a meme of whenever anything happens to Bitcoin, it's good for Bitcoin. Regardless of whether it's a, like, a it's massive right. crash. It, or... has, uh, it has done some excavation for me. Yeah. <laughs> And gold. No, I don't. I uh, do not put the apple pies in the smeltery. That does not work. Um, but da 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 da. Ingots. Nope. No. Nope. I don't want a gold plate. <sighs> okay. I have emptied the waterfall. Mike, you're not on mute. Mike's emptying the waterfall. Yeah. Okay, that was quite bizarre. Yes. So some, something I'd like to do is fill up my swimming pool from the far side here so that the current isn't pushing you out of the swimming pool, <laughs> like to counter the current coming from above. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you fill up the, the swimming pool with um, source blocks, that will happen. If I fill it up with source blocks, that's yeah. a lot of buckets. Indeed. Uh -huh. So, who wishes to be a glutton? Uh, I'm already a glutton, thank you. What are the effects of being a glutton? I can eat instantly. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and it's, I presume it's another bobo? Yes. Sure, let's give it a shot. Where are you? Uh, in the crafting area. I should okay. practice by... Ooh, ooh, I just ate two apples in quick succession by mistake. Yeah, you can eat more than you intend to. <laughs> I mean, it is the gluttony charm. Kind I'm of the point. Yeah, literally doing what it says on the tin. Uh -huh. so oh, thank you. Very nice of you. Okay, this isn't quite working the way I expected there. Um, how do I get source blocks into the middle? I don't know. Oh, but I was hoping RCX might know and be willing to share the information. Into the into the middle of what? The pool. Um. Ah. Uh, Ooh, using the climbing gloves to go up a wall in the waterfall is quite cool. And mm. quite fast. Hmm. A swimming pool has not gone exactly how I would like. <laughs> I need some water engineering expertise. It has a hole in the middle of it. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Um... I think the way that you need to do it is you need to do it one layer at a time. So you need to put down a layer, dig down, put down a layer, dig down. Fill up all but the top layer with blocks. 
put down source blocks everywhere on the top layer, then mine down one, and then repeat. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, bottom layer is filled. So now I need to go up and collect water and just fill every square of this with water yes, one at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Are, is anybody doing astral sorcery? I am attempting <laughs> to, but it's not working, and I'm not sure why. Hmm. Ow! I'm fighting a rat with a bucket. Two rats. They, they really don't sound very happy about being sordid to death. Yeah. Well, now I've lost track of where I'm up to. No, oh, I've just filled the same block three times. <laughs> uh, I need to come back and refill my pickaxe again. Oh, oh, the um, the waterfall seems to have got a bit mad here. No, I kind of like it. So like in general I find most games load like ten times quicker on my desktop. The difference is that like for say EU, ten times quicker is half a minute instead of five minutes. Whereas on this it's fifteen minutes instead of like two hours. <laughs> yes. I'm I'm glad to see that you've mastered the concept of basic multiplication, Mike. Indeed. Well no, he hasn't, it's two and a half hours. Yes. <laughs> yes. No no no, he's a cosmologist, remember, experimental ever. Yeah. Order order of magnitude is fine. I mean, for cosmology, that's a pretty good estimate, really. I mean, like, like even even fifteen and like two and a half hours would be good estimates for each other for cosmology. So I've been debugging a waterfall. What have you been debugging? A celestial altar. A celestial altar. Yeah. Is that like the celestial temple of the prophets? Pretty much. So if I go over here. Okay, this is beautiful. And then what I'm also going to do is keep digging over here to make a little chamber in the mountain, which I think will be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't telling you, I was telling them. Right. The literally viewers. <laughs> oh, oh no! There's a creeper at the top of my waterfall. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, well, it blew up the village a bit. Okay. That's rather nice. It just needs the outside of it kind of prettied up a bit, I think. Now I have pants. Oh, okay. The, uh, like I like the combination of the iron leggings with the steel leaf top. Uh -huh. I just don't like wearing all the same armor. It just looks boring. Yeah, fair. Well, we've already heard enough about your slimy balls. Thank you. Well, uh, you were making me you use many of them in your last session. So make of that what you will. Ah, I'll see X. What? I was footstooling you, but I didn't uh -huh. want to. You just kind of walked under me. <laughs> I made me bounce up and down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, I remember now. You were doing some landscape gardening. Well, it was more landscape watering. Ah, yes, I see you. I see you. Oh, I just climbed up Mike's house by accident. Right, time for my experiment. Uh huh. Ah, yeah, so you're going to go over it in a boat. <laughs> you didn't quite manage to land in the water there. Where on earth am I? In a cave. Has anybody got any tips for getting out of a boat? Uh, isn't the same as normal? Uh, that shift? I can hear some growling. Oh, right, yes, it is. Uh, I think I might have just broken my water. How so? Uh, I was doing the bucket thing wrong. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. 
Uh, am I gonna have to do it all again? No, you only need to do like up to that bit. Um, also, I've got a thing that might help. I'll have you now. Um, maybe? I don't know. I can join him oh, where yeah. I am. Oh. It's a spider waterfall. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> spider can't get me. Yes, it can. Oh, oh, oh. This, okay, so I can roll the boat around on top of the Aspen Sorcery Tower. Yeah. So, does the boat protect me if I roll off the edge of the tower? Oh, well, sorry. it does, but only because I landed in the water. It's epic. You know what I was saying last time, actually, was it would be so much easier to do this if I brought an aqueduct down here yes. instead of having to go up to the top to get the water every time. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. Uh -huh. um, I, should we go to sleep, though? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, so the water sickle just does work, just not in the sigil of building, because... Who knows? Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Uh, well, if we like actually do the explanation of how to blood magic. Or can we do this explanation of how to sleep first? Yes, 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 yes. I now have a fail safe way of falling from any height. What, what being in a boat? Yes. Uh. And just rowing it on the land of a cliff. Sorry, blood magic gives you an option in terms of doing the water. Uh -huh. Although I'm not sure it's very good. And what are you trying to that, do with that's... the water? Is this to make the waterfall? Yeah. Then I'm all for the blood magic because if we can have it, if if the waterfall turns into a blood fall, so much the better. I wish I had the horn right now. A mead horn? No, uh, um, loud horn. horn. Yes, I knew what you meant. I was just hoping that you weren't going to go tooting us off things. Well. I would do if I had the horn. But you haven't, so you Unfortunately, can't. I cannot get the horn. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I see you um, found my ulterior motive of giving you the gut and charm. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I thought that might have been the case. Didn't we have a door for bones? Um, one may have been exploded last session. Mm. Ah, yeah, that reminds me of something I was going to do. Was it make a drawer for bones? No, I was going to do some underground ocelots, <laughs> some totems. The, the ocelot totems just don't seem to work. That's because they've got very short range. Oh, what you're gonna you're planning on putting an ocelot under every square just under the ground? Uh, we do have some underground already under the main crafting room. Here. I like how I tell you that we've already got a hole, so you don't need to dig one, and then immediately you just dig one. Well, I'm doing one in each corner. Okay, but you could just make a whole cellar. Eh. I think we are going to need to extend our defences out to the new waterfall as well. So that you can have some chilled, uh, zombie-free swimming. You're very keen on, this, on, on making it into a whole sort of resort, aren't you, the waterfall? Yeah. I want to be able to take all my armour off and relax in the waters. That was rubbish. <laughs> what about if I just take out two of these bricks? Yeah, that would work. Turn them back into cobblestone. They'll need baking again. Uh... Uh, how, like, how do you get the uh, aqueduct to actually become an infinite water source? I'll show you in a second. Because look, that's, that's clearly not. Um, how do you mean? Like, if you right-click it, it just picks it back up again. Yeah. Okay. Do you not need two next to each other? Do you? You, you need three. 
Three, okay. Oh. Uh, that's why probably why I was having so much trouble last time. And then which which one do you put the water on? Um the two outer ones and then it makes the middle one an infinite one. Aha. Uh -huh. No, it doesn't. Well, yeah, but one in the middle of the as well. Ah. Ah, yeah. They have to be flowing into each other. What? Well, no, the middle one seems to have worked now. If I could actually get to it again. Oh, no, okay, no, okay, then no, it didn't work. So yeah, it's because they don't really make um, true um, source blocks, they make pseudo source blocks. <sighs> this is so much easier in vanilla. I get the impression that everything is. And that's yeah. sort of the point of this pack. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean with they have to be flowing into each other? How, how do you make them flow So you know how, them? like, you know how when you place them down, right, they were... They just flew out the side. Right, I uh, think you need to put it in a space such that the water flows. Yeah, the, the problem is um, because it's um, flowing down as a priority, not the side. Ah, so I need to put some blocks in front. Yeah. Ah, sorry, let's take some water back out. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> yeah, you need to put another layer of blocks on the side. Another layer of blocks on the side? Yes. Okay, but now I can't put them in. Oh, I'm gonna have to... This was the worst place to put it. Well, <laughs> there you go. So that's How come, enough. like, when I asked, you didn't tell me that? Oh. I think Final Sight's just breaking everything now. What were you doing? I'm filling in your water. Make it sound so dirty. Okay, but now I don't know which bit you filled in already. I think most of them are already filled in. Yeah, but the, most of them is not good enough. Like, I need to do all of them and to know that all of them are done before I take the blocks out, right? Well, yeah. Well, if, you, see, like, if um, you're not being pushed... It'll flow... The water will flow into an empty block. Yeah, if you're not being pushed around anywhere... Okay, but I will be, because it's flowing off the end of here regardless. Well, that's true. So, like, I just need to do all of them. Like, it was perfectly fine last time. I was just doing them in rows, mm -hmm. and nobody else was standing in the way. Right, um, the, the issue is, because of this pack, you should start from the top and make your way down to the bottom. Yes, I know, that's, that's what I was that. doing! I mean, if you filled in that last one there, then you would, like, have a clearer view of what's going on. What do you mean if I filled in that last that, one? The last part of the wall, right? Oh, here. Yeah, yeah. one where I'm standing here. What? <sighs> well, you mean this one here? Yeah, if you just fill that in with, like, cobblestone or whatever. Yeah. Then you, like, can actually see what's going on. I think that looks fine. It it's, looks a bit wavy still. Yeah, there's a block here. And one over here. Oh, yeah. Here. If you've got this far, you must be really enjoying these videos. And you've probably noticed that I don't ask you to smash that like button or ring that bell to satisfy some algorithm. The algorithm doesn't care about you or me. It only cares about ad views. So instead, I need you to do something for me. Think of one friend who you think would enjoy these videos as much as you do and just share it with them. Tell them about the channel or offer to hang out and, and watch the next video together. I'm not here to build a business or get a side gig. I'm here to share something I enjoy with other people who enjoy it and I get a lot out of that. 
I think you can too if you also share these experiences with someone else who will enjoy them like you clearly do. Thanks for sharing, and I'll look forward to your friends joining us next time. Toodle pip. Um, do people want to learn about blood magic? Okay, yes. there's one here. Well, no, because I started doing this now. Okay. That's why I asked Fine. before I started. <laughs> <sighs>